All right, guys, it's Brian here again with another shave video. And uh, today, before I get into my shave of the day, I just wanted to kind of talk a little bit about um, uh, a little bit of a dust up that happened yesterday in razor and brush. And uh, those thankfully don't happen very much in that uh, in that group. Um, but uh, somebody posted a um, kind of a controversial statement giving their opinion with regards to signature soaps, soaps and uh, tribute soaps, and and how they didn't like them. And that's fine. Um, it's it's all good um, you know if you don't like it you don't like it um, and, and obviously things went from there um, you know one of the things that uh, I, I feel very strongly about with regards to this to this hobby is that uh, we live in the golden age of wet shaving uh, we have more choices um, when it comes to soaps and aftershaves and hardware than uh, even our grandpa's had and uh, so to me, anything that, that broadens that, I think is great. Uh, you know, if you don't like the tribute soap, if you don't like that kind of stuff, uh, then don't buy them. And I think that's, uh, you know, I, I don't really get the whole point of stirring something up uh, over those, over that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't, quite honestly, I don't go out and buy every tribute soap that's out there. Uh, I don't buy uh, soaps based on what other people necessarily say or what other people think. Um, I don't base uh, buy soaps on the basis of whose pictures on the label. Uh, I buy soaps based on what I like, and so that leads me to today's shave um, because uh, this was a soap. It's actually a I don't know if you call it a tribute soap, but it was a soap that was made for a razor and brush. And when I read the scent description, I was like, "Well, that sounds really, really good." And then when I read it to my wife, she was like, you've got to buy that. And so I did. And uh, I am talking about uh, Ginger's Garden Marrakesh. And this soap is absolutely phenomenal. I don't even know how else to describe it. I am not great with, I, I, I keep saying this over and over again, I'm not great with describing scents. But this is an awesome, awesome scent. Um, I love it. It's, it's kind of a musky, musty type scent, but it's got floral notes and it, I don't know. It's just very complicated and it is so, so good. And, um, it's, uh, um, I actually bought the, the, uh, matching, uh, aftershave to go with it. And, uh, so I finished up with that today, but the performance on the soap is killer. It's just phenomenal. I can't say enough good stuff about it. But the scent is just absolutely killer. And, uh, you know, my, again, my wife, not only did she love the scent description when she read it, um, but now that I have it, she, you know, she's like, oh, what is that you're wearing? And, you know, kind of get a few extra sniffs uh, on the way out the door uh, to work in the morning. And so just absolutely love this stuff. Phenomenal, phenomenal scent. Uh, Irina did a phenomenal job on this. And again, not only is the scent great on this soap, but the performance is just absolutely wonderful. And the same thing with regards to her um, aftershaves. Her aftershaves are a little bit different. Um, they're, I guess it, uh, the, the main ingredient is aloe vera juice, and it's got witch hazel in it and, and alcohol and, and of course the, the, the scents. Um, so it's, it's a little bit uh, of a thicker, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's not real watery like a normal alcohol-based aftershave is. Um, so it's got just a little bit of a different feel, but it's got this, it's got some menthol in it, I think. And it just, I, I just absolutely love the way this stuff feels. And again, the scent on this is just, I cannot say enough about it. Um, you, you need to buy, if you don't have it, um, you, you need, you just need to, to take a look at it, see if it's something that, that interests you. And then I would highly, highly recommend this. Again, it was a razor and brush, uh, group limited edition, uh, soap. So I don't even know if she still has any more in stock or how much of this she's planning on producing, but if you can get your hands on some of this stuff, I just absolutely love it. Uh, this was my third shave with it and I, I just, I can't say enough good stuff about it. Today for my brush, I used my uh, Samaga 1438. Love this brush. Great, great backbone. It's broken in well. The tips are nice and soft on it. Um, just so love this brush and uh, very, very happy that I, I, I bought this. Um, you know, I, I was kind of on the fence with regards to the 620 
or I think it's a 620 or the 820, whatever, or maybe there's two of those. Um, the, the one with the acrylic handle, but I just went with this because I really, really like the handle. So glad I did. Love this brush. Um, I think Chris Christopher Peace was talking about how his dropped and it started flaking uh, um, and, and the paint started chipping on it, but this brush is less than 20 bucks. So, you know, if, if mine starts falling apart, you know, it, it, it's, I'll buy another one. I, I, I want to keep this brush forever in my den. My uh, shaver today, I went with a my gem um, Micromatic Clog Proof. It's actually a TTO, um, and I uh, really, really like this this um, this razor. I've only used this, I think this was my fourth shave on this blade. Uh, like I mentioned in my other video, I keep track of the number of shaves I use on a blade, and I do that with these this single edges as well. Now, I heard somewhere that uh, you can use single edge blades longer than you can DE blades. So I'm going to give it a whirl. This is the only, the fourth time I've used this blade. It's the fourth time I've used this razor. Um, this is the first single edge razor I actually um, have used. And the reason why I started using this is because my brother got one. And I had this in my den for probably like six or eight months. I bought it in a lot of razors at an auction. And... Um, but I just never cleaned it up, never used it. I got some blades uh, that were a part of a pass around. Um, I, I pulled some blades out of that so I could try it out. And uh, so when my brother got his, I said, well, you know, I, I need to, you know, get some experience with this so I can help him if he has any issues. And uh, so I've used this four times. And it's not the most comfortable shaver I've got. I've got, you know, my DEs, I, I, I think I get a more comfortable shave, but I can get a, almost BBS with two passes uh, with this this razor um, and usually it takes about three with my DE's and uh, I just get I think a, a much closer shave with this than I do with my my DE so really 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 like this um, this this razor and uh, very happy with it so today again um, my uh, shave was the Ginger's Garden Amerikesh uh, both uh, the soap and the uh, aftershave. Phenomenal stuff. Love it, love it, love it. Um, it was my Samog or Samog, whatever, however you say that, 1438. And then my Gem uh, mic Micromatic uh, Clog Proof uh, Razor. So great, great shave. Uh, very happy with it this morning, and I really enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, to those of you who are kind of hating on the signature soaps, um, or, you know, the artists and vendors, embrace what you can in the hobby. And if, you know, if there's something that bothers you, you know, just move on. Um, that, that's all I got to say. I, you know, I get tired of some of the controversy. I think some of this, you know, people are just so easily offended. Um, and I think that speaks to our, um, our society as a whole. People are just so easily offended today. And I think it's maybe time people grow up, buck up a little bit. And uh, just let some things, uh, you know, be water off a duck's back and, and kind of just move on. Anyhow, that's my rant for the day. Shave was awesome. Very happy with this stuff. Irina, you're a genius. And um, anyhow, this is Brian reporting from my shave den. And I hope everyone has a great day.